This is a short tutorial on a very simple dialogue flow from Google Chatbot. Um, I created a weatherman application where you can just ask for the weather in a city in the world and the weather is returned. This is the dialogue console and on the right here is the testing pane where you can try it out in text or voice. But let's quickly have a look um, within the Google Assistant test environment. So this is really handy if you want to test your conversational interface or chatbot um, within the context of Google Assistant. Let's get the test version of my test app. For which city do you want to know the weather? The weather in Berlin is fine and mild. Anything else? Okay, chat later. Bye. Right, so that's the Google Action Test Console. You can see I can select my surface here. I'm going back to Dialog Flow. Here are my intents. So if we go to the Ask City intent, which is the most important, you will see that um, you can define contextual variables. So you've got an input and an output context. So this allows you to string your intents together, uh, or you can just um, invoke the next intent based on um, the intent of the user utterance. I would say, you know, for a lot of larger applications, you will use dialog flows and API, and you won't use this contact context management within the application. So you can see all my user utterances and all my all the city names are marked, um, and they're all contextually available, and I can have this my application here as well. Um, dialog flow very much like. Um, IBM Watson Discovery and Cisco MindMelt with Elasticsearch has got a knowledge base which you can uh, use as a fallback. Then I also have fulfillment here. So fulfillment is really the API integration. So you can use a webhook or you can use Cloud Functions for Firebase. I went for Cloud Functions, so I'll add a link in the notes to the Medium article with more detail and also the GitHub um, link with the code. It actually informs the next dialogue. Um, so obviously here you can have a, a live link to a weather API where you get the live information. And again, here is a testing pane as well in this window. And obviously we have integration where you can deploy the Google Assistant to these four telephony mediums or those text-based mediums. And just briefly to look at another project, this travel bot, um, and here I've got the travel request. And you can see that actually got only one example utterance. So these are all um, entities, but they're all contextual, contextually placed here. And dialog flow is fully contextual, contextually aware in terms of entities. So you don't have to have a finite list of entities. You can have an infinite um, reference. So I can even use unknown city names like we want to travel from George to Bloomfontein on Monday at 3 p.m. And here we see the city arrive as Bloemfontein, and so the court is good because we do it in at the time. Um, so this is an example of how contextual entities can be used. But the full example for the Witherman app will be in 
I'll share the link to the Medium article and to GitHub. And um, this is a small project which you can build out to create a larger application.